Catwoman, who's not white in this, and then you had the mayor, who's a black woman. Again, very much on the nose for current day Hollywood. Did not like that. Took a couple, took a little bit uh, off the... Hold on, I got a Ku Klux Klan member on my page. Let me block this Ku Klux Klan member. Nobody scared of y'all no more. Fuck out of here. So some YouTubers have been having fun with Ryan Cano. And I want to stress that it might seem it's a gang up of the left against Ryan KKK man. But even people who are more politically independent do recognize that, uh, yeah, Ryan kind of messed up. I mean, it's okay to criticize black people. It's okay to criticize black characters. We should be open-minded. You don't want to say, no white person can criticize what can they forever or whatever. Like, white people can be critical of media involving minorities. The question is, can Kennel keep his bigotry in check? And as we're going to see, apparently not. Now, I'm actually going to be conceding a lot. I do actually basically agree with Jack Reacher. It's actually a very good series on Amazon. But of course, he can't be... Settling on just it being a good series, he has to get into the woke agenda. Critics like it. The audience in large part likes it. 88% critic score, 91% audience score. And one of the great things is, what and what the Tom Cruise ones missed, was the physicality of Jack Reacher. He is 6'5", 250. That's just what it is. There are, there's no doubt about that. There's no argument. He is a massive hulking beast of a man. And he has to be because that, that's part of who his character is. Tom Cruise is not that. And the way they portrayed him, I think, was very good. There was very little woke moments in this. And I think it was very true to the... I'm not sure what he means exactly. Because I will be saying, just as a joke for this video, that, yeah, Reacher is pretty woke. And that is definitely in the series. Like, there is one major scene where we do get a white cop being racist because it's the South. So that's to be expected. There's also another major scene where a black woman basically beats up a toxic white male. It's not exactly feminist, but it is very clearly skewed in a way that it's meant to be pro woman. And what's interesting is that Reacher in that scene is kind of looking at her saying, I gotta go off and take care of the evil, toxic, white, sexist male. And then the black woman gets up and says, No, nah, I'm gonna take care of this myself. Richard definitely does have, quote, a lot of woke moments. So according to his own formula, it is woke. But on the other hand, he's saying it's good. So I'm not quite sure how he's maintaining consistency. And yes, it does have, quote unquote, good black people. And it has evil white people. So it does actually go into white privilege. I'm not sure how he's maintaining consistency, but then he tries to elaborate and it just gets worse and worse. His friend Neely, who uh, I think some people, if you don't understand what the Reacher's series is all about those books, you might think that's an SJW thing. No, Neely is an important part of those books. She's not introduced yet, but they introduced her for this to be a connector between multiple series. She's a badass. Reacher really respects her. She really respects Reacher. Um, and I, I thought she was utilized pretty well. There's about 15 seconds of an eight episode series that I think you could consider woke. And that's pretty good. Is it perfect? No, it's not perfect. So apparently the magical formula is 15 seconds, but he's been caught red handed. So he does admit, yes, Reacher is technically woke. But guys, guys, it's only 15 seconds. Whew, it's only 15 seconds. My beautiful white people endure it. What kind of forever for us white people? It was 15 seconds of the woke. <sighs> well, I gotta say, I too experienced the 15 seconds of the woke. And um, I'm not gonna lie. I, uh, I cried. I cried like a little girl. I cried like a little, little sad little girl. And I was like, oh my God, the woke and the reacher. It was, um, it was too much. I had to go home. I threw up, of course. Um, I turned on my critical drinker videos and I felt good about being white again. I'm not white, by the way, but I, but I felt white again listening to Critical Drinker. So uh, yeah, I was relieved. Um, I had to take, I had to get a big pillow, take a lot of pills. So I, uh, it took me a whole week. No, no, wait. So sorry, I, it took me like a hundred years, but I recovered. I did time travel, travel to the future. I rested up for like a hundred years after those 15 seconds of the woke. Then I uh, went back in time 
And I was like, okay, okay. It was 15 seconds. It was 15 seconds. And I was like, wait, no, it can't be 15 seconds. I think I could spot more than 15 seconds of the woke in Reacher. So it's a little more than 15 seconds. So we've got black guy experiencing racism at the hands of the evil white police. We've got evil toxic white man needs to be beaten up for not being feminist. Okay, we got that. We even have sexy Asian chick coming out of nowhere and being part of an interracial marriage and them having interracial babies. And I'm like, okay, I mean, it could happen, but believe me, I got no problem with sexy Asian women in any form of media at all. I'm very uh, tolerant there. But I kept thinking to myself, like, wait, huh? What's the likelihood of this to Ryan Kinnell's own formula with the Batman? That's very on the nose. So we got sexy Asian chick in an interracial marriage. We had a couple of uh, pro-woman moments. I'm a woman, okay? Respect that. And Richard's like, okay, girl. You go, girl. You've been around the world. You go, girl. So, yeah, I don't know what he's saying. It does seem like by his own formula. Reacher is pretty SJW and woke, and um, you know what my honest feeling is? I don't care. Still a good series. It was pretty excellent, but it did kind of drag after a while, so they need to work on the pacing, and yeah, the master conspiracy plot after a while became really boring, and like, this could have been really wrapped up in five episodes. So we agree, Reacher good. We also agree, you're bigoted. And we also agree, yeah, there is a lot of wokeness in Reacher. And it's far beyond 15 seconds. So his 15-second uh, magic marker isn't going to work. So he still remains a racist hypocrite. But maybe he's just more generally a bigoted moron. What are you talking about? You've now jumped to labeling this pushing an agenda, yet fail to tell us what the agenda is and what's wrong with it. 